This year, we're going to see Fortnite change forever, which is why we're taking a look at 10 updates coming this year that will blow your mind. Starting off with first person mode, we've all been talking about this for so long, and this year is finally the year. A first person camera view has been in the works in Fortnite all the way since back in chapter two, where some players even accidentally entered first person mode during the device live event, proving it was in the works all the way back then. Since then, Epic Games have been slowly tinkering with in-game files to get first person mode ready, and as of last September, September, a new set of modes codenamed Rebirth, which include the usual solos, duos, trios, and squads, were added into the in-game files behind the scenes, which everyone believes to be first-person mode. Last year, no builds mode changed the game forever, and this year, it looks like first-person mode will do the same. But what if we didn't have to rely on Epic Games for big updates, and instead, we could do them ourselves with some incredible tools? Well, that's what Epic planned to do, giving us the power with the launch of Creative 2.0. This has been talked about for ages now. It's been delayed several times times, it was actually meant to come out at the end of last year with the start of chapter 4 and now it's due to come out at the end of this month but we still haven't heard much information. Safe to say, it will definitely be coming this year at some point and with these tools it will help Fortnite compete with some of the massive games like Minecraft and Roblox where user generated content dominates the game and will hopefully mean that players come to jump onto Fortnite to play user generated maps, not just jump into the standard modes that we're used to playing. Creator mode already has incredible experiences just like Zombies Land where you can jump in, take down zombies, rank up your weapons and even get crazy XP, you can try it yourself with the map code on screen and I'll share it in the description as well. But with Creative 2.0, it'll take these experiences even to another level. And another year means another incredible set of collaborations, including Dead Space, the incredibly popular third-person mode horror game. This game is a little bit old now, but it's set to have a huge remake coming out at the end of January and to coincide with that, we'll get a ton of skins themed around the game in Fortnite as well. If we take a look at all the big collaborations that happened last year, it gets me so excited for what Fortnite will look like at the end of 2023 and all the incredible characters from around the world that will be coming to the game. But sometimes we don't just want new stuff, we want old stuff as well, which is why Fortnite have hinted at the return of Fortnite to iOS. When Fortnite was first removed from the iOS store, I thought it would return within a matter of days. But here we are years later, where if you're lucky enough to still have the app on your phone or tablet, you're actually still playing in Chapter 2 of Fortnite. All these rumors were started by the CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, tweeting out next year on iOS, following up with a picture of Fortnite itself. This all comes with new laws that could see Apple being forced to allow other app stores on their phones. With the release of iOS 17 coming later this year, we could see Epic Games have their own app store on Apple devices, meaning access to download Fortnite with all the latest updates, meaning it would finally return. And let's not forget about concerts. I don't think we got one last year. Yeah, we didn't see one in 2022 but thankfully we're set to get one as early as this month in a huge collab with Kid Leroy. Fortnite concerts are always incredible and bring so many players to the game. It of course means Kid Leroy will become an icon skin as well within Fortnite and will join the likes of Travis Scott, Ariana Grande, Marshmallow and more. And although these are just rumors floating around at the moment, make sure you hit that subscribe button for official information on this year's live concert to make sure you don't miss anything at all. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Getting the concert is so early in the year means we could even get another one later on. Lady Gaga is high up on the list of being a potential concert. Let me know which band or musicians you'd love to have a concert in Fortnite this year. As we took a look back at last year and how many collabs we got, I've got even more leaked ones that will blow your mind, including Die Hard and Fortnite. You may remember that when Apple and Epic were battling it out in the courts, some of their future collabs were actually leaked within the documents. One of those was Die Hard, but also in there were skins that finally came to the game like LeBron James, The Rock, Ariana Grande, they and more. John McClane, the main character in the Die Hard series, would most likely be the icon skin coming through this collab. And good old Donald Mustard from Epic Games teased a Die Hard collab on his Twitter recently, showing an image of a Christmas gift that he got, which was of course based from the Die Hard film. And whenever he teases something, it always means something's coming to the game. Talking of collaborations and concerts, we all know that the Travis Scott skin is probably one of the most requested skins to return to the item shop. And rumors have it that this could actually happen this year with Travis Scott set to release a new album that could coincide with the return of his skin. His up-and-coming album called Utopia has been announced by his label to be coming in early 2023, so it may not even be long until this skin returns to the item shop. And as of recent, Fortnite have been taking so many skins that haven't been in the game, some of them even over a thousand days, and bringing them back. And the Grim Medicine set was actually blacklisted from returning to the game, just like we thought the Travis Scott skin was. But this skin returned just a few days ago, which means there's a chance Travis 
Travis Scott could also be unblacklisted and allowed to come back into the item shop. If this skin comes back or you see anything in the item shop you love, don't forget to go into the bottom right hand corner, pop code Ali in to get a shout out in my videos. My code goes every two weeks, so pop it back in. As one day in 2023, we could be seeing Travis Scott and Astro Jack, the current rarest icon skins in the game, available to buy again. You're going to want to stick around for the number one update coming this year, but as we enter the top three, I'm just going to chuck a load of collaborations at you. We've already mentioned a few of them, but there are so many more lined up for this year. Rumors have it that Doctor Who could be getting his own skin in Fortnite, and with 14 versions of a Doctor so far, if all of those skins are wrapped up into one, that'd be the most amount of skins in a single Fortnite skin ever. And with a new series coming at the end of this year, it'll be perfect timing. Years ago, Family Guy images were found in the in-game files, and more recently, a Family Guy's fire was actually seen accidentally on an Epic Games employee's PC. We've been waiting for this collaboration to happen, and I reckon 2023 is the year it will come. At the end of Chapter 3, we saw a literal part of the Lord of the Rings film rebuilt on the sand, out of rocks, being a huge teaser for Lord of the Rings coming to the game. And one of my favorite ones of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These four would look so good as Fortnite skins. We've even had SpongeBob available as multiple skins in another game owned by Epic Games, Fall Guys. A SpongeBob skin in Fortnite, I mean, that would just blow my mind. Okay, moving on to number two, Fortnite just announced a $10 million prize pool for competitive Fortnite this year. There'll be different majors held throughout the year online, available for people to enter and compete with the best of the best from all the competitions throughout the year, ending up in Copenhagen, Denmark, where the global championship finals will happen, where $4 million will be available to win. And let's not forget what happened at the FNCS Invitational at the end of last year. A huge announcement was shared with the world, and I think we could get just a big of an announcement again this year at that huge competitive tournament. And I believe I know what it is, because at number one, I think the biggest update this year will be Chapter 5. This sounds crazy, I know, but last chapter was the shortest one yet, and I don't see Fortnite extending them again. I think we're going to be getting new chapters every single year. Fortnite have decided that to keep the game fresh, a new map every year, a new chapter, new themes, is the best route to go down to keep the game as exciting as possible with tons of updates. This would mean another huge end of chapter live event, which you know I love, and a huge exciting story that we built up throughout this year that has only just begun right now. It blows my mind that at the end of this year, we could have SpongeBob, Doctor Who, playing in first person mode, competing for $10 million, and getting ready to jump into a brand new chapter. If that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what does. Talking of incredible updates and looking back in time, click on screen here to see the best updates of Fortnite's history that changed the game forever. Quickly click it. I'm about to disappear. I'll see you over there.